Hanging out with Peter Britton. Things are not started yet here on Saturday at Atlanta Legends Wayway. We're not going to talk about Friday, but it's a fresh day here today. Peter finished third in the points, five wins on the season. How do we? How are we doing, Peter? You got the family here? Yeah, you know it's a beautiful day. Um, yeah, I got lots of lots of family here tonight, and uh, you know obviously it's uh, you know the Hares family. Uh, there's a whole tribe of them over here, and it's uh, obviously a very important night for them. And um, you know hopefully uh, we can all just have a good race and. Uh, you know, celebrate Gerald and um, yeah, everything the Hare's family does for for the sport, just being involved in it. You know, and um, still does. Yeah, yeah that too. Know? Yeah. So I mean, it's uh, they've helped out multiple people over the years. So um, you know, we'll uh, we'll try and put on a good race for him. What's up after today? That's what I've been talking with and focusing on today. Is what we're doing after today. Yep. Um, it's funny, you know, people are like, oh, the season's gonna be winding down now, right? I'm like, Not really. Oh, actually, yeah, pretty busy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Was Albany next week? Yeah. So next week we got a uh, Friday, Saturday in Albany. Um, Obviously and, done uh, well this year. Yeah. You know, we we did good. Um, you know, we had we got three wins up there this year and um, uh, ended up second in points up there too. You know, so I mean, we had a had a pretty good year. You know, it's a tough field up there. You know, so it's. Um, just happy to be able to keep running well, really, you know, and, um, but yeah, so we got that, um, week after is the, you know, the Outlaw 200, if we end up doing that, that's kind if. of a tentative okay. at the moment, you know, it's just, it's hard with Dirt Week being, you know, the next week, and, um, yeah, yeah we two got, day turnaround. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. myself and Rich's cars going to Dirt Week, you know, he's doing the whole thing, so it's, um, yeah, we just kind of suck it and see at that point, you know, okay. whether I can do it or not, um, but yeah, obviously a Swego, uh, just big block? Uh, big block and small block. Okay, is the yeah. small block yours or is this the ride? Uh, so the, the car I race on Fridays at Albany. Oh, that um, car, okay. Yeah, you know, Tom Faxon uh, actually owns a small block, so we'll put that in the car and um, hopefully we do more than one one or two laps like we did last year. Oh, you know? that's right. So, I, I forgot about that. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> hey, you know, that's, that's, that's how racing goes sometimes. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we got Oswego and then uh, Port Royal. Oh, I forgot about Port uh, Royal, right? Yeah, then we got Eastern States. Mm -hmm. um, and then Charlotte, right? And uh, yeah, I think we got another elite race in Georgetown. Oh, okay. Before Charlotte. So yeah, then obviously all the Charlotte stuff. So it's mm -hmm. it's busy, man. Yeah, you know, it, it is. Tired thinking yeah, but about this is what you came over here for, was to be a professional race car driver, and you've made it work, and you've done well. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, it, yeah. I mean, I, I live for this, you know, yeah. so I'm not saying I don't want to do it, you know. No, but there's moments when it gets a little busy where you're like, oh, yeah, I could use a rain out tonight, right? Yeah, if there's one person in this pits that tells you they never thought about selling everything and leaving the sport, then uh, they're lying, you know. Yeah. And, uh, we, we had those moments, but overall... Yeah, a couple just, of them right here, if I remember correctly, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Jump one jumped out of gear, and what was the second thing that happened? I uh, just got a flat tire while That's leaving right. next week. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, I mean, it's this this sport can be very trying sometimes. And very humbling, too. Very humbling, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you, you meet a lot of good people uh, in mm -hmm. this sport, you know, whether it be fans or yeah. competitors or, you know, commentators. And anyone involved in, in racing seems to be, uh, you know cut from a better breed i feel we like. all you know, share the passion and we all find know. different ways to to be involved in it and yeah uh, there, there's some wacky people in the world you know and i, yeah, I feel I like, like the if, wacky if they people. had a race car to work on they wouldn't be quite so wacky that's know? true <laughs> but, but, but of course like look at a lot of these guys who aren't professionals they work overtime in the off season and they work at the shop i mean for some of them 80 hours between work and working on the race car is a, is a weekly normal right oh yeah you know i mean it's uh everyone anyone most people that race they they, they work they put as many hours into mm -hmm. racing as they physically can so mm -hmm. yeah some guys work a full-time job and then at night time they go work on their race car yeah. you know so me I don't have a full-time full job, job is working say. on the race car. Yeah, but, but we just race more, you know, yeah. so it's not like I don't work on the race car day and night, it's just right. we go racing more often, so you have to work on it just as much, you know, you, you basically you use up any free time you have, and, you know, in, in, obviously, uh, you know, I have my six-year-old daughter here, Addison, and... Who is not as bashful as she used to be, I noticed. Yeah. She wants to get on camera she, this she time. She wants to be in on it, yeah. yeah. But, um, well, you got a mic rod. You can do a mic rod and get her going, right? Yeah. Okay. Who would be more nervous, you or mom? Oh, definitely. Oh, okay, oh, you'd yeah. be fine with it. I'd okay, be fine. I've seen other families where it's the other way around, where the dad who raced is like, I don't know if I really want her. Yeah. Doing I mean, this. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like at some point she's gonna test the waters, you know, yeah. and want to do something. I mean, I, I I don't feel a need to push her into it straight away. No. You know. No, um, no, no. Yeah, we'll mess around the house. I'll get her to 
drive a four wheel around okay. the house. And like when I was, I didn't actually start racing until I was 15. I didn't know? realize that. Okay. And, um, started in a four cylinder and. You know, we used to, you know, when I was 13, 14, we would actually, uh, you know, just drive a four-cylinder around the backyard. Like had, field cars, we had, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had like five acres just weaving in and out of the trees, you know. And <laughs> Fix them when it, they broke, yeah, right? All as that as stuff. I started yeah. uh, tearing up the yard more, uh, that, that was when we started racing because we're like, all right, we're sick of you tearing yeah. up the yard. Let's, let's go take this thing to a racetrack and see what happens, you know. Well, I hope so. it's a good night for you tonight. Appreciate you making time. He was eating dinner when I got there, so I do appreciate it. Good luck with everything, man, and now maybe I'll see you down trackside later, okay? Thank you, yeah. Hopefully we'll be down there. Thanks, Peter.